Okay. Day 11th, um, February 10th. Uh, TOEFL group, February 10th, day 11. Hello, Rocio, how are you? Fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. Can you hear me? How was your day? I'm sorry, Rocio, I can't hear you very well. Can you hear me? Very, very soft. Very soft. Okay. Daniel, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Daniel, I'm fine, thank you. Daniel, can you hear Rocio? No, no. No, me, uh-huh. Okay, just making sure it's not me. Maybe it's something wrong with the audio. Yeah, I think with the microphone. Yes. Okay. And tell me, Daniel, what, did, what happened today? Ah, today was very wonderful, Edwin. 
Hey, great. Yes, every day is different. <laughs> Some people say the every day is the same thing, but I think every day is different because it's very interesting. Okay, good. So today was a good day, huh? Yes, today is a good day. It's a better day. Hello? Yeah, 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 better. And so I, 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 I've been looking at different alternative or solution option for uh, how, how to, to make a, an offer for a, a different kind of clients. Okay. We could, uh, we could find a, or, or we found a solution that we could save around around how you say a quarter of a million dollars wow that's a, <laughs> that is a big solution that's not a small solution it's it what's very interesting yes i'm happy yeah very creative very creative mm -hmm. yes uh -huh. <laughs> but something when somebody is watching the same scene the in the same uh, angle Mm -hmm. Maybe they can check the the opportunity, but when somebody arrive, they are criticism with different kind of angle. Maybe sometimes you can find a different idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was the the uh, solution was very easy, <laughs> uh, supposedly, but. But I can I couldn't I, I no I could find that. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's that's wonderful. You feel good. It helps the company. Everybody makes money. That's excellent. Yes. Uh -huh. it, it, that is just yeah, for a, for a show the offer for that client. But maybe we have a a best opportunity, the, 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 a, a better opportunity to, uh, maybe if we could uh, spend that kind of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, congratulations, that's great. All okay, right. thank you. <laughs> awesome, yeah, yeah, yeah. Irene, how was your day? Good evening, everybody, my day is was very nice. Thank you for asking. Okay, good, good. And you, Cecilia? Good evening, teacher. And um, my day uh, was um, uh, very hard. <laughs> oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, um, for different uh, reports, uh, uh, the right. For the different networks? Yes, reports of my office. Ah, okay. The report and different reports. Uh, I in I try the 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 office, the office and the home office, <laughs> home office. Okay. Okay. Rocio, um, how's your volume? Did, were you able to fix it? No, no, we don't hear anything, Rocio. Um, maybe you want to try signing out and then sign back in. Maybe that, that will help you with, with the audio. You can try and see maybe that, that will help you fix it. Can anybody hear Rocio? No, okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and continue. All right, so we're looking at the idea for those, the speaking part of the test, right? So. In our speaking part, we have um, many different things that obviously we've been practicing um, 
they're not easy. The, there are things that we need to learn because it's, it's not speaking naturally. It's speaking with a purpose, speaking to have specific things. It's not to give only whatever comes to our mind. No, we have to follow a certain order. And when we follow that order, it makes it easier. One of the things that we want to do is when you answer a speaking test, first, you, when you have time to prepare, look at the question and make sure that you understand all of the things that you need to include. Usually, you need to include three things. And usually, you have to include three different... Rocio, let's try it. Let's see if you have it. Sorry, guys. No, no, not nothing, not at all, Rocio. Sorry. You, I mean, you're going to be able to listen and, and read, but <laughs> you or you won't be able to 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 speak. Um, okay. Uh, let me see. This is for uh -oh, for Rocio. You can, if you can hear me, you can put like a little hand or a reaction or something, um, or put it in the chat. I just wanna make sure you are able to, to understand the class at least. Yes, okay, good. All right, well, if you can hear, that's something. Don't worry, we, we try to figure out the, the audio um, later on, but okay. So what I'm saying is when we're answering these speaking questions, we need to think of a couple of things. So, one, always summarize the listening or, or the reading, okay? If you have two of them, if you have a reading and a listening, you need to put them in order. First, summarize the reading. Second, summarize the listening, okay? Third, they're always going to have one of two things. It's going to be a solution or it's going to be a problem. You need to explain what it is. If if they have a solution, you need to, okay, no problem, Daniel, I understand. Um, if they have a solution, uh, you need to explain the solution. If they have a problem, you need to explain the problem. That's the main tip that you get when you're trying to come up with it, okay? So, one more time, let's try. Reading, summarize. Listen, summarize the problem or the solution that the speaker or the, the writer mentions, you explain what it is that they're saying. Then you have to read, but normally you have to give your opinion of which is the correct solution or which solution do you agree with and then why. That's the four things. So only in summarizing the reading is usually 10 to 15 seconds. Summarizing the listening is another 10 to 15 seconds. Mentioning the problems that they or the solutions that they give you is 10 to 15 seconds. Only there is going to be about 30 seconds. So the other 30 seconds that you have is your opinion, your solution, or your recommendation and the examples why. Remember, it doesn't have to be the correct uh, or it doesn't have to be um, the solution that everybody wants is not the idea. The evaluation is not if you can fix the problem. The evaluation is if you can speak and understand and be able to express yourself. That's the important, not what the solution that you give is. Are there any questions? No. Okay. Irene, everything is okay? Yes, teacher. Uh, all, all is okay. Thank you. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Cecilia, everything is okay? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Rocio, was everything okay? Okay, perfect. All right. So what we're going to do is because there's only three of us, we don't have four people at the moment. 
And even if we did, we have the issues. So I'm going to share my screen and we're gonna to try to do these things together, okay? So here we are in the integrated, the four and six. So what do we have? Well, we have the same thing as yesterday. We have a reading, sorry. Uh, we have a reading, we have a listening, and then we have to answer, okay? Now, what's the idea, what's the difference for this is because the topic is a little bit different. Now it's not about the uh, school life or campus life, it's more academics or things like that, okay? So let's take a look at first our reading. Okay. I'll give you, uh, let's say, 45 seconds to read, okay? So you have 45 seconds to read. All right, that's the 45 seconds. Okay, we'll give you a little bit longer. Now here, okay. Um, okay, so now in this part, as you can see, uh, prepare uh, and 60 seconds to be to speak. Okay, so now we listen to it, okay. There we go. Okay, I'd like to discuss an interesting study being done on phytoplankton. I think we all know that phytoplankton is an important nutrient in the ocean's food chain, uh, as well as understand its importance in producing oxygen. Uh, this study, the study I want to present, was based on the observation that in some areas of the ocean, there's plenty of sunlight and nitrogen compounds for a successful photosynthesis. However, there's only a small amount of phytoplankton. So an analysis was done on the water and this analysis indicated a lack of iron. We know that iron is a trace mineral that even humans need. It was hypothesized that phytoplankton also need iron. I won't go into full detail, but a small section of one area in the ocean was seeded with iron sulfate. The resulting increase of phytoplankton provided convincing evidence for the hypothesis. Now, this finding opens up several possibilities. Since phytoplankton take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, an increase of the plants could remove a significant amount of human-produced carbon dioxide from the atmosphere faster and more effectively than other alternatives. An increase in the plants could uh, also be followed by an increase of marine life along the food chain that ultimately comes to feed people. However, there are uh, unanswered environmental questions that would need to be addressed before phytoplankton farms could be considered. Okay. So, okay. Now we listen to parts of the lecture, okay? Now here's what we have to do. We have to explain, okay, how the implications of this experiment relate to phytoplankton. So how does the experiment and the phytoplankton relate to each other. Who would like to try? Don't 
don't be scared. It's okay. No one. Everyone. Everyone is scared today, huh? Do you want to listen again? Do you want to read again? Go ahead, tell me. Listen again, if it's possible. Yeah, that, that's why we have the practice. Don't worry, that we are in the practice part. It's okay, we listen again, we read again, okay? Sometimes that's what we need to do. Let's listen again. Okay. Let's listen again. Oops. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, we can hear you. Okay. So remember, what is the question? What are you listening for? You are listening for reading. Remember, here's the question. How? are the implications of the experiment relate to the phytoplankton. So they are going to describe an experiment. How does that experiment relate with the phytoplankton? Okay, I'd like to discuss an interesting study being done on phytoplankton. I think we all know that phytoplankton is an important nutrient in the ocean's food chain, uh, as well as understand its importance in producing oxygen. Uh, this study, the study I want to present, was based on the observation that in some areas of the ocean, there's plenty of sunlight and nitrogen compounds for a successful photosynthesis. However, there's only a small amount of phytoplankton. So an analysis was done on the water, and this analysis indicated a lack of iron. We know that iron is a trace mineral that even humans need it was hypothesized that phytoplankton also need iron. I won't go into full detail, but a small section of one area in the ocean was seeded with iron sulfate. The resulting increase of phytoplankton provided convincing evidence for the hypothesis. Now, this finding opens up several possibilities. Since phytoplankton take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, an increase of the plants could remove a significant amount of human-produced carbon dioxide from the atmosphere faster and more effectively than other alternatives. An increase in the plants could uh, also be followed by an increase of marine life along the food chain that ultimately comes to feed people. However, there are unanswered environmental questions that would need to be addressed before phytoplankton farms could be considered. Okay. So one more time, what is the question? Explain how the implications of the experiment relate to the phytoplankton. So what is the relationship between the experiment and the phytoplankton? Hello, hello. Yeah, go ahead, Rosie. Mm. <laughs> they, they are given uh, to, the, to the plankton iron sulfate, and that mineral make grow uh, something like that, uh, the plankton in the ocean. <laughs> I think so. Can you hear me? Yeah, only that I, I hear you very, very softly. That's why I have to, I have to listen very, very carefully, mm -hmm. but because it's very soft. Okay. Okay. That's better. That's better, right there. I don't know if you were closer, but that was better. Mm -hmm. No, not okay. So. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a mall. Well, it, they, they are given to the plankton something like uh, sulfate, iron sulfate, 
are, uh, it's a mineral that is giving nutrients to the plankton in order to grow more. Something like that, I, I understand. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Who else? Who else would like to explain what they... May I, they... teacher? Yes, Irene. May I? Okay. In my opinion, uh, the plankton is necessary uh, in the ocean because in the ocean there are many, many lights. Uh, need the sunlight and some nutrients necessary for, for the life uh, in the ocean. Also, it's necessary for ground and for for the life and many in many animals, maybe only that. Okay, okay. Thank you, Irene. Cecilia or Jose? Okay, teacher. Uh, the and the experiment. Uh, the, the um, let me see the fight the pipe plankton the pipe plankton is very important uh, because uh, it produce the oxy oxygen oxygen uh, um, the produce the oxygen in the many plants in the in the marine life. And then it's necessary in the in the life ocean uh, for the grow the different uh, marine marine animals uh, because because it's very important for the the heart the chest the heart that's it okay okay thank you Cecilia and Jose. Okay, let me try. Okay, well, the phytoplankton, in, which is uh, an ocean plant, so the the experiment is related to the to the to about that about plants because they can help us to the life in the oceans, so they can produce advantage for the for the human beings and also for the life in in the in the ocean. So, and um, and the ocean can produce uh, several things. Uh, can the, this kind of plant has a, a like a, need a oxygen, I don't know, some the trace mineral in order to grow up. So one of the, the good points can produce a carbon dioxide and can remove for the oxymorph. And, even more effective than the other practice that we do nowadays. Okay. That's it. All right, mm -hmm. perfect. Okay, guys, great. Okay, so we have the idea of what they're talking about, right? Now, the important is exactly that, finding words that relate or that you can join, okay? So those words are that we commonly use are connector words, those connector words we tend to use are like, uh, on the other hand, or although, or uh, furthermore, or in addition, okay? It depends if you are going to connect that the two ideas are together, which is like, in addition, furthermore, okay? Or therefore, or if you're going to say that there are different reasons for doing it. So on the other hand, or uh, in, on a different point of view, or things like that, okay? so. Now that we have the four of us, and it seems like Rocio was able to fix a little bit her, her issue with the, with the volume, we're going to make little groups and we're going to continue that, okay? What we want to do is the same thing. It's okay. If you need to read two times, you read two times. And if you need to listen two times, you listen two times. But the idea is try to make sure that you answer everything. So the, here we answer the implications. We talked about the experiments and the relationship to the photoplankton. So we want to make sure that we are clear. So when you do it, always, it's a good idea if you have the opportunity, okay? Notice that normally we're going to have like this con. Explain how the experiment is related to, to uh, in this case, road users' behavior. So 
that's why you already have an idea how the exam is structured because always they're going to ask you questions like the relationship what is the one and the other or how are the things related okay so the same thing read listen and then take turns explaining i understood this this is the relationship this is why it's good or bad according to them okay that's what we want to try remember this is from the second part this is integrated questions four and six integrated questions four and six you guys ready or are there any questions okay Hi, Rufio. Hi. Michi has a problem with the internet. Yeah, I think you're right, Jose. I, I thought she had it fixed because she was, I was able she was able to speak before. Okay. All right. Rosie is going to reset her computer, Jose. So. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Hang on. So, while Rosio does that, let me send you to the other group. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. No problem, Rosio. No problem. You try it. No, no. Don't worry. It happens. This is technical problems. <laughs> it happens with computers. The project? Uh, what is the number of extension? It's the last one. What? What? I... Uh, the section, what is? The section. The section is a four. four. The, no, the section, the section is three. Three section. And the platform okay. uh -huh. is a three section. Uh, section three and let me see uh section section three is speaking uh speaking practice Inter integrate question okay can you share your screen and let me see uh no I don't see you. I, I I am found him. I am found in it. That's okay. This exercise, I see. Oh, Jose. Um, the four and six, this. The next one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Me, me and well teacher and I couldn't complete some part in the mid turn and the in the platform I don't know if there are someone can help us in the 
in the really? answer for because uh, mm -hmm. I don't know who is helping in this course. What happened in the, in the midterm? Um, there is kind of open question that that I can't complete it. Maybe. Okay, we'll take a look again. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see again to see what happens. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, you check the meter, uh, Jose, or we continue with this? As you wish, if you can, we can uh, do it again, this one, because we did it in the, in the example, but if you want, we can do it again. Uh, and the, this part is the, the last one uh, seen in class, right? Yeah, we were speaking about this, mm -hmm. this one, yeah. We were talking about this. And uh, no, listen, uh, the next one is no listen to part and lecture of no see and plans in, in a marine biology class. Uh, we need to listen uh, this audio for for answer the, the next question, right? Okay. I could, I could try the. Okay, I'd like to discuss an interesting study being done on phytoplankton. I think we all know that phytoplankton is an important nutrient in the ocean food chain, uh, as well as understanding its importance oxygen. Um, this study, the study I want to present, was based on the observation that in some areas of the ocean, there's plenty of sunlight and nitrogen compounds for successful photosynthesis. However, there's only a small amount of phytoplankton. So an analysis was done on the water, and this analysis indicated a lack of iron. We know that iron is a trace mineral that even humans need. It was hypothesized that phytoplankton also need iron. I won't go into full detail, but a small section of one area in the ocean was seeded with iron sulfate. The resulting seeding of phytoplankton provided convincing evidence for the hypothesis. Now, this finding opens up several possibilities. Since phytoplankton takes carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, an increase of the plant could remove a significant amount of human-produced carbon dioxide from the atmosphere faster and more effectively than other alternatives. An increase in the plant could uh, also be followed by an increase of marine life along the food chain that ultimately comes to feed people. However, there are unanswered environmental questions that would need to be addressed before phytoplankton farms could be considered. Okay, can you speak you? Can you hear you? Yes, I killed a little bit. Okay, you need a uh, listening again or oh, it's okay, only one. Okay. Ceci, mm -hmm. you need listen again? Yes, I need again. Okay. Okay, I'd like to discuss an interesting study being done on phytoplankton. I think we all know that phytoplankton is an important nutrient in the ocean food chain, uh, as well as understanding its importance in producing oxygen. Um, this study, the study I want to present, was based on the observation that in some areas of the ocean, there's plenty of sunlight and nitrogen compounds for successful photosynthesis. However, there's only a small amount of phytoplankton. So an analysis was done on the water, and this analysis indicated a lack of iron. We know that iron is a trace mineral that even humans need. It was hypothesized that phytoplankton also need iron. I won't go into full detail, but a small section of one area in the ocean was seeded with iron sulfate. 
the resulting increase of phytoplankton provided convincing evidence for the hypothesis. Now, this finding opens up several possibilities. Since phytoplankton takes carbon dioxide atmosphere, an increase of the but remove a, a significantly reduced carbon dioxide atmosphere faster and more effectively than other alternatives. An increase in the plants could uh, also be followed by an increase of life along the food chain that ultimately comes to feed people. However, unanswered environmental questions need to be addressed before the phytoplankton ponds could be. Okay. Are we talking about a uh, phantom, phantom plant? Is necessary in the life of the end because a um, um, contain nutrients for the life of the ocean um, is necessary for the for the photosynthesis too. Um, in the ocean, uh, many many are necessary for the phantom plant. Only that. Mm -hmm. Above that instruction is the professor describes an experiment done of phytoplankton, explain how the implication of this experiment relates for the photoplankton. The instruction are read the passage about road man management, read carefully and take note. Sorry, Irene, so the number one was the, the top part. That was the, the first reading and the listening. Um, now is this the where it says instructions? Right there, it, it's the next part. The road sign is the next reading and the next listening. So the one that we did oh. was the example. That was the phytoplankton. So you can go ahead and you should go ahead and continue into the next one. That that we already did together, which was the, the listening. So if you go down, mm -hmm, then you can try the next one. Okay. Okay. So it's about the road passage. Hello? Rocio, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. But uh, a little below or, or better? <laughs> yes, now is better. Now is much, oh. much better. Okay. Thank you. The problem was the computer, huh? Yes, it was. Uh, I think something was stuck. <laughs> okay, no problem. It's okay. good. Because mm -hmm. now you have Jose and you can work with Jose. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you go to exercise. Mm -hmm. The second one, the one that we we already did the photoplankton, so it's not necessary to do. You you go to the one to the next one, the road rage. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, Jose, Hello, can, you, Jose. can you hear Rocio? Yes, I can. Okay, all right. Okay, good. You you have already the the exercise. Very necessary uh, for the for the ocean or the or life marine life marine or marine life um, in the different for the different uh, animals. And include include the the human the human life. And that's that's it. Okay, thank you, teacher. 
uh, honestly, I am confused because uh, what is the, the, the exercise for me? The exercise begins in the number one. The professor describes an experiment, experiment. But uh, I understand that you say instruction is part of number one. Is okay? So, no, okay. So, number one, finish the number one. The instructions begin ah, okay. number two. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the, so, instruction, the instruction is about this chart, right? Correct. Yes. So, you have, you are, ah, okay. you are going to read that. You are going to listen and then answer the question at the bottom. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, so then uh, the instruction of exercise is read the passage, uh, passage uh, about road management. Read carefully and they know. We think no, right? Remember, uh, you will have or we will have uh, 30 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to speak. You may begin now. Okay? okay. You, you have seconds for read. Uh, I read. Okay. Uh, we we are. okay. Uh, road signs and makings are are a uh, ubiquitous feature and towns and cities around the world. The purpose of this system is to ensure the suffering and both drivers and the pedestrians by separating separating. Uh, then and uh, by controlling traffic speed and flow. Uh, drivers are obligated to restrict their speed, follow direction, and park and stop only in designated areas. Pedestrians are filters protected by raised sidewalks from which motor traffic are restricted. At road intersection, motor vehicle moving and in the street managed by traffic lights and road makings. The requirements of road users, the overly road makings, signs and signals and uh, vehicle uh, up by legal section, leveled against those who ignore the traffic rules. Okay, thank okay. you. Uh, we Prepare, prepare with 30 seconds uh, the explanation. And then we have a 60 seconds for to speak, right? Okay. Okay, Ceci, in my case, my opinion is the road scenes are making uh, in the street or in the city or in the downtown. Um, there are servers for uh, signals or for guides for the driver maybe about the, some rules for the, for the driver and for the other person. Similar to the light traffic, maybe um, the people guide for crossing when need a, a guide or idea where are or is it is 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 sorry is it um, a boy or only a boy. Uh, some action or some uh, or something when the people driving when when the people are driving only that 
Okay, and this in this paragraph, I I I I compre, comprehend uh, the for the say the different the different sign the different icons uh, for the drives for the ruler drive on the different people. Uh, using the the signals for the good good way a uh, good way and the the suffering and the people uh, yes the requirement uh, uh, requirement in the in the in the road that's it. Okay, thank you, Ceci. What is your opinion, teacher? Okay, um, do you have the first part? Oh, very good. But that's remember you have to do the reading and the listening. So if you go down, you see it says now listen to part of the lecture in the civil engineer class, and if you go uh -huh. down again a little bit uh -huh. more. Okay. Uh, Ceci, uh, we listen the, the audio, so, sorry. Wait, um, Irene, go, go, go down a little bit more. Okay. Sorry? Uh, okay. Scroll down. Okay. Now listen to the lecture in a civil engineer class, right? No. Okay. Go down. Go down. For the culture in our country. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and what is the question in this case? Only uh, okay. Yeah, the question mm -hmm. is the professor the process the professor described an experimental system mm -hmm. of road management. Explain mm -hmm. how this experiment is related to the road user behavior. Mm -hmm. Road user behavior. Mm -hmm. What in, in that country, <laughs> or mm -hmm. in that culture? I, I think they are du from Dutch. Dutch. I I know I'm not sure what is the country in this case. They they mm, the, these users can improve. Uh, they improve their behavior. They they. They they are more respect to the other people, and and they have, have consider, more consideration to the other people, and in that country when they remove all the signs and all the all the all the traffic lights, uh, all the traffic lights. And, and empathy. And um, what do you think? <laughs> what did you hear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The experimental is about the to mm -hmm. remove uh, about the, the traffic light to the mm -hmm. speed. Mm -hmm. uh, almost the, the world signal traffic. Mm -hmm. But in, in that country, the mm -hmm. experiment is worked because they reduce uh -huh. uh, considerable number of the the accidents oh because, yeah yeah mm -hmm. because of the the trap the the road user behavior mm -hmm. it is improved because they drive carefully in order to protect the, the wall of them even mm -hmm. the other the other road user even the pedestrian because they are mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. dry careful because they don't know about the the signal i think but 
Um, mm-hmm. My opinion, it depends on the on the culture. Maybe in a kind of European country, they this mm-hmm. can apply this kind of rule. But in our country, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't don't think so that it that it works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Maybe they, they have. They are. They are on time or on their appointments. <laughs> and in, in this country, all people is late. Mm, in our country. Yeah, the yeah. Old people is in a rush, traffic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Too much fossil fuel is moving. They wanna. <laughs> uh, and, and, are we going to follow with the next lecture? No, or? Rocio, uh, uh-huh. who is sharing the screen? Is, uh... uh-huh. it's, yes. it's, it's Jose. Jose, can, yeah. can you please go to the midterm? That way I can answer your question. Mm. OK. And let me see. I'm that I'm listening this one. Example this one. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, mm-hmm. Show okay. So you have vocabulary question. What's the next one? The reference questions. Mm-hmm. Sentence of simplifications. Question and insert text questions. Insert text questions. Perfect. Uh, Jose, do me a favor and. Mm-hmm. First letter in the word, in, in when you begin a vocabulary question, put with capital letter. It is in, a, in the it first word. Capital. Yeah, it is in capital. Okay. okay. Let's see. The first word. Comma after vocabulary question. Okay. Do we have a comma after reference question? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you have? A comma after sentence simplification question. Okay. Yeah. Do me a favor. Okay. Erase the comma for sentence simplification. Yes. E- the comma. No, no, no. The, the next. Yes. There. Okay. This one. Okay. Erase and put the word and. Okay. Check the answer. It is still wrong. Still wrong. Okay. Well, you have the correct answer. So let me help you. Okay. Jose, copy from the chat and put the answer. Copy from the chat and put exactly that. Let me, I can see the chat over here. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Sentence simplification question, no questions. Reference question, no questions. No, no S with question. We try this. Yeah, so vocabulary questions, yes. But you can copy and paste mine if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
it is still uh -huh. mm -hmm. i don't know okay we have to check it out something is wrong there okay we'll work on it tomorrow and not so that Okay, guys. So, um, we'll wait one more. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pause for today, but tomorrow we're going to finish up this unit. And, Jose, we're going to, I'm going to try to see what could be the problem for your question. Now I understand where it is. And we will try to review the uh, midterm to make sure that it's clear for everyone and for you. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. So have a good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. See ya. See you guys. Bye-bye.